Hey friends, welcome back to Friendship Club TV. My name is Philip. If this is your first time joining the club, then thanks so much for hanging out. If you have been here before, then I really appreciate you coming back. Thanks so much. Um, so it is now March. How wild is it that it's the third month of the year? Um, Y'all wanted January to end so bad. I didn't know here we are. Just kidding. Um, so I'm going to share with y'all my March plan with me. Um, I'm going to talk about my goals for this month. I'm carrying over some of my goals from last month as well. And then later on in this video, we are going to do a research backed practice to kind of improve gratitude and um, happiness. I've been listening to this podcast called uh, The Science of Happiness lately. I really recommend it. And one of the practices it has is about writing a letter of self-compassion. Um, Cause a lot of times we have this ability to give compassion and gratitude to people that we love in our lives, like our family or our friends. But when it comes to kind of cultivating that same feeling of compassion, compassion, kind of gentleness to ourselves, it does not always work out. We kind of forget how to use those tools for ourselves. So uh, this research-based practice is uh, designed to help us kind of reach our goals, not by force, but by um, kind of favor, like we want to do it. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this journal, get into these goals, and then work on that practice. All right, so you guys have already seen my journal before. I haven't added any new stickers this month. Here is February spread. Um, you can see I put manifestations and I actually accomplished two of my goals of finishing the book I was reading and also fixing my car window. I didn't get around to making a denim jacket, but that's totally okay. So if you remember from my last video, here's a place where I wrote down things I was proud of myself for doing. Um, I'm really glad that I have a place to look back on the small things and big things that maybe I was scared of doing or felt great accomplishment from doing. Here's my first page for March. It's a brain dump and I already have two quotes. The first one from Oprah, how will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? And the second one by Mark Zuckerberg, ideas don't come out fully formed. They only become clear as you work on them. You just have to get started. So here is the goals and gratitude page for my March spread. We can see some of the long-term goals are the same, like move to NYC. And I also have to follow my taxes, LOL. So to begin March, I have two goals, tie-dye and screen print some totes and finish the gifts of imperfection by Brene Brown. Up here, I have a space for gratitude, and I also have this awesome Friendship Club logo that my friend Casey made. So shout out to them, I really appreciate it. So just like last month, this is a place for me to write down things I'm thankful for, things I want to note, kind of emotions that I really want to savor. So this month I put my um, habit tracker on this half page because I really wanted it to stand out. Last month I kind of fell off from using it, but I think that if I have it in the center, I'll remember things like calling home, meditating, reading a book, and the habits that really help me get my day going. So just like last month, I have this dedicated space to manifest. I've been really into it because I think that it's important to uh, write down what it is we really want. And here is the planner section of my journal. After last month, I really realized that a month out of view is the best option for me just because weeks go by so fast. But if I see everything at just a monthly view, then it really helps me. All right, so that is my journal for the month of March. I hope that it helped inspire you or show y'all a little bit of insight into my planner. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and get started on this gratitude activity. So like I was saying earlier, the research-based practice that I want to share with y'all is to write a letter of self-compassion. 
Um, oftentimes we have this ability to be compassionate towards other people, to let them know that it's okay how they are right now. It's okay to be soft, be gentle, but whenever we experience these emotions ourselves, perhaps we are feeling very vulnerable or very insecure or we are feeling down on ourselves, we often struggle to use those tools of compassion on ourself. So today's research-based practice is to write a letter of self-compassion. So write this letter to yourself as if you are a friend or as if you are a close confidant of yourself, which honestly you should be. So sometimes we only view things from one way and sometimes we aren't able to give ourselves that room to be kind. But if we take a step back and perhaps look at things through a different angle, different point of view, then we'll be able to use the tools that we are so good at using with other people to help ourselves. So I'm gonna write this letter. I suggest you maybe pause this video or think about a time when you are able to write a letter to yourself and um, let's get into it. So I'm done with my letter. That was my first time ever writing a letter of self-compassion. Um, it was really cathartic and it made me feel really good about myself. Um, I did cry and I think that's because I got a chance to sit down with myself, uh, talk about some of the things that I have been having trouble showing myself kindness about. So here's my letter. Uh, I'm gonna share it now with y'all if that's cool. Okay. Dear Philip, hi, lol. It's me. I know you've had a full plate lately and I love that for you. I hope you remember you are loved, not for the things you do or the material items you have and share, but surely for the person you are. Relationships are hard. I know that you're hypercritical about the way people see you, but it's okay and important to let yourself breathe. I know there are some big things coming up that you're scared about, like leaving Austin and moving to New York City, but that's okay. Fear is natural and expected when you're living fully and openly. I hope you remember people are here to support you. You don't have to carry pain, hurt, and issues all inside. I know it may feel safer, but you will find belonging and support with the people who are sweet and kind enough to call you a friend. Sometimes you're surprised by the abundance of love people show you, but, but in all honesty, you care so deeply for others. It is no surprise that others would care so deeply for you. Remember, life is not meant to be lived and experienced alone. It is the harmony of our lives, the ripples of friends and relationships we foster that truly make life worth living. You have a gift to help people be open and caring in a way that current capitalist society wishes to snuff out at all costs. Hold on to that and live your life in service to others that can benefit and grow from the truth. Sending you so much love. So it's really clear that um, this research-based practice is uh, definitely for real. I feel a much closer connection with myself and I feel like although we have all of these thoughts in our head, they're currently racing, um, currently just trying to fight for attention, but when we sit down and we're intentional with our words, with our thoughts, with the way that we treat ourselves, it can have a great impact on how we view our situations that we're in, or more importantly, how we view and treat ourselves. So I really appreciate you for uh, coming here, kind of taking time to think about this gratitude practice, think about the things that you may be feeling inside, things that maybe you haven't vocalized to other people, and maybe you haven't even uh, vocalized to yourself. So I really hope that you take some time right after this video or take some time in the very close future to allow yourself to 
sit down, write out a letter to yourself, from yourself. So like I said before, I think it's a really important thing for us to break out of autopilot, break out of the monotony of every single day that forces us to constantly think about production, 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 thinking about things that who we think will increase our status, increase our career, increase our uh, money, our net worth. Um, I think that we struggle to accept ourselves for where we are. Um, what we're doing at the moment, being very mindful about what it is we are currently experiencing. So with this uh, gratitude practice, I really hope that you'll be able to center yourself take some time to recognize what you need, how you need to express that, and how perhaps uh, your inner dialogue, your inner thoughts can help you uh, be gentle, be kind, and be understanding of the place that you are at in life currently. You need to remind yourself to continue striving for uh, improvement and constant uh, growth. So I want to thank you again for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to comment and subscribe if you want to continue doing these gratitude practices together. Follow me on Instagram. Um, and yeah, thanks so much. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you have a great rest of the day.